good morning and welcome to it's still dark outside even though it doesn't look like it Winnipeg and a moment ago I had my coffee cup sitting right here and uh, I was trying to get everything rearranged for the opening scene here and I bumped my coffee and I spilt it so I've got this uh, cloth here <laughs> yeah I knew it was going to happen eventually but you know it, I didn't spill it clunking it down <laughs> that's when I should have been spilling it <laughs> anyway it is pizza day <laughs> now about pizza day uh, I know I've recently been starting off almost every episode with today is probably going to be different but today will be because uh, it's Thanksgiving's weekend here in Canada uh, I know that in the I think in the UK and and also in down in the, in the United States uh, it, they have it about a month later I think it's on the 24th of November for you guys and for us it's going to be uh, on the I think it's the the 10th or the 11th or something like that it's, anyway the Thanksgiving's Day is officially tomorrow uh, now the reason I, I believe that Canada has it early is because our fall and harvest time uh, is is earlier and so it sort of coincides with harvest time that's that's what I understand anyway so it kind of makes sense and um, it'd be nice if we did everything worldwide and we all had the same weather right <laughs> okay uh, anyway uh, I did come back to the model table yesterday and uh, yeah I uh, Put a new battery in my in my granddaughter's little watch. <laughs> Not too much model related, and uh, I know it kind of looks like the the bow is all glued on and everything. It's not. That's pretty much the way I left it last night when I quit. I I sort of uh, was having a having a having a problem deciding how to glue the two halves together. I got them all cleaned up and everything. I'm going to probably be doing that this morning. But anyway, bottom line is. Uh, because we're getting together as a family for our Thanksgiving's Day dinner, which is going to be at two o'clock this afternoon, I gotta wind everything up here. I, I gotta, I gotta be out of the house by uh, a quarter to two, so uh, at the latest, or I'm gonna be late, <laughs> and all the good stuff will be scarfed down. <laughs> no. <laughs> But uh, I, I do want to be out of here early today, so I'm going to be cutting today's episode off and and have everything all, all uploaded and the final edit done by a quarter to two, so I can be out of here. Okay, enough rambling on about nothing. Uh, let's let's do our little bit of a rollback, and uh, <clears throat> I, I know it, it doesn't look like it, but it, it is still dark outside. Believe me. The <clears throat> the sun is is probably going to be coming up in about uh, oh twenty twenty five minutes. Uh, then it'll start to brighten up. Maybe we'll have a nice sunrise. Maybe we won't. It hasn't happened yet, so I can't tell you about it. Uh, anyway, let's let's sort of roll back and see how it is. Uh, I got to well, I guess more more this place than anything. Uh, those of you who watch this show because of I'm, I'm building the Iowa. Uh, probably going to disappoint you today because there's going to be a lot of other stuff that isn't uh, Iowa related in it. Um, oh, I got to tell you about the bird feeder. Uh, we'll we'll do that a little later. Uh, yeah, I had a bit of a surprise with it yesterday. And, you know, we, we will, like I say, we'll talk about it later. Let's roll back. When my son was over looking at my computer and the new video card and what have you that we're not going to talk about anymore. Uh, he brought over my granddaughter's little watch here. And it's just a very, very cheap kid's watch. But he, he wanted to change the battery in it and he couldn't get the back off because it appears that it's the type of back that you use one of these special wrenches that fit, that the lugs will fit into the slots. Okay, so I'm 
messing around getting it all adjusted and everything and and as I'm trying to position the the uh, the lugs in in the in the slots here the uh, I'm noticing that on the back there is a place that sort of appears that you're supposed to be able to get a, 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 a knife underneath to to pry it off and I'm thinking well why would they have have it both ways you know and I realized what what they were trying to do the manufacturer was trying to make it look like it was an expensive watch that had a screw on back when in fact it was just a pop on pop off back so we've got a new battery here we're going to stick it in and see if it works but but that's really no annoying when manufacturers do that you know they try to make it look like it's something that it isn't uh, but I guess that's that's the way it goes these days yeah a lot of deception out there in the world okay let's see if I can get it to go here I'm just going to test this battery first to make sure it's up to snuff okay I haven't tested it yet but it should be one and a half volts and um, I don't think it matters which way I put it on but my experience has been that the jacket part of these button batteries is the positive and the pointy part if you want to call it that is the negative so here we go one point five nine one volts so this one's right up we'll take this one out and see how much it is That is a very tight little spring. There we go. That should just come right out of there. Got to be careful I don't break something else. Okay, let's try it this way. Let's try and wedge something in there and, and take it this way. There. Okay, so so here's the old one, and here's the new one. Put the new one in the same way, only in reverse. There we go. All right, let's turn it over. Is the second hand going to be running or not? I should have been a watchmaker. Okay, Let's see if we can get the back to snap back on now. Okay, I guess it, there's no right way or wrong way to do this. I'm going to find that. You can see that. Uh, I'm going to try and put it where it's going to be at a convenient location so it'll pry against something. You know, so it'll pry. You can pry it with with the knife between where where it hooks in here and this strap lug. Okay, now this should just fit right on there. I'm probably gonna have to do it off camera. Squeeze it with both fingers. I don't want to bust the crystal.
Okay, so it is 504.2 microvolts. <laughs> okay, not a whole lot there. That would be like half a volt, I guess. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I guess we'll set it. What do we got here? Uh, 6.59, almost 7 o'clock. Hey, this watch hacks. That's that's not bad. There we go. It doesn't hack real well though because the the minute hand moved when I shoved in the stem. Let's just do it again here. Yeah. Yeah, when you shove in the stem, the, the minute hand moves and it shouldn't, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. It's good enough for a little girl who likes bunny rabbits. Okay, I've worked at these a little bit here, and I've got the sprue connections pretty much sanded down the way I want them. And... Uh, there's only one place that I can say I was sort of a little bit disappointed with myself and that is on the very bottom. Okay. Alright, right right here it's going to fit good when it's squeezed. It's just right there there's a, a little little gap probably uh, just a, a hair's width. Now there's a gap here in the on the bow right, right in right there that has nothing to do with my sanding, but I think if I take a, a clothespin or something and squeeze it together, and uh, <clears throat> we, you know, if if it's still there, I can always fill it with uh, uh, model putty. And uh, this this piece actually it fits together very very well. Now uh, maybe I should sh just show you something here that I noticed a moment ago. Let's try not to scratch anything. Okay, now you notice this dark here. I think that might possibly be mold release. I'm going to just ch check and uh, see if that, that will come off. It, it might also be discoloration in the plastic and there'll be nothing we can do about it. But it's okay. If it's mold release, I want to take it off because it'll be greasy. And then the paint isn't going to want to stick as good there. But uh, <clears throat> when, uh, when it comes time to gluing it in place, in all likelihood, you know, having it butted right back the way it's supposed to go is is the way it should go. But I think it might be a smart idea to get the deck and just lay it in here just to make sure that it's not going to be too tight up here. Because it, if, it, if it is, and it, you know, in order to get the deck to fit all the way like it's supposed to, it could be that this has to be, you know, a millimeter or whatever this way, but I don't think so, but I just want to remember to to check it first before we actually glue this piece to this piece, but I think we're probably safe to uh, figure out how we're going to fasten this together now. <clears throat> I was thinking of you know maybe maybe pieces of tape that that would work that would work really well um, but the thing is with masking tape it's it's not uh you know, it, it, it's not stretchy. In other words, it doesn't put a, it doesn't draw it together. So, uh, I don't know. Um, uh, let's see if I, can, not that one. Maybe this one here. I'm just, I'm just going to recompose here. I'm making a fool of myself. Okay, I've been just sort of basically trying to decide what am I going to do here about gluing this together. Uh, took out a few minutes, quite a few minutes actually, and read my comments. Got uh, several comments uh, uh, from people warning me to be careful when I attach the bow to the main hull. Um, yeah, well, I think I'm kind of 
clued in a little bit as to what to watch out for here. Um, as I mentioned before I read my comments, I was thinking of maybe trying to see how the deck would fit. And, but then uh, there might be other issues as well. However, what do we got here? You know, I'm getting really tired. I don't know why. Um, what time we got here? Okay, it looks like it's about, uh, what, 23 minutes to a rabbit's ear? <laughs> I think it's time to, uh, I think it's time to call it a night here. So, uh, yeah, all being well, we'll see you in the morning. Well, it is morning, and we gotta get these two pieces glued together here. Oh, about the sunrise. It was, uh, you might say, defined. You could tell exactly when it came up. Uh, I'm probably gonna tack it at the end of this episode. Um, all being well. Now, what I'm thinking here, I, I've had a lot of different ideas. I was thinking that, first of all, I could use the regular Tamiya cement that doesn't dry very quickly and just, you know, get it on both surfaces all the way around and then squeeze it together. But lately I'm entertaining the idea, why not take the the extra thin and just, just, do, it in, just do it in sections. You know, like maybe just do the back here, hold it together, or maybe even try, try the... Uh, the quick setting, you know, that does actually set fairly quick. I wouldn't have to hold it very long, maybe only just a minute. Do, do the back and, and just work my way all the way along, just, just a, you know, a few inches at a time. And then when I get to the, to the bow here, uh, well, it wouldn't fall apart because it'd be glued together. Oh, you know, what? maybe, I was wondering if maybe, uh, put a, and a nail. I should go down to my workshop, see if I can find some nails that are just about the right size here. That would sort of help align these because they, I was noticing that when you do put this together, these pretty much line up. I think that was what was supposed to happen. But there is nothing in the manual that shows that, uh, you know, that, that we're supposed to... Uh, I'll get that later. That, that uh, shows we were supposed to put something in there. That's... It's kind of odd, like, why would it be, then, that it's hollow here, <clears throat> you know, instead of, instead of solid? Um, okay, I'm going to go down to the workshop, see if I can, I'll take one of these with me and see if I can find a nail that's just the right size. And we'll use them as, as uh, aligning pins. I think it's a good idea. Um, well, we'll do a dry run just to make sure. Okay, so... The nails were either too small or too big. And this is about as close as I can come, this finishing nail. And uh, it's just a smidgen too big. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do here is I'm going to find a bit that is uh, just uh, a little bit bigger than that and uh, drill this out. I think, I think that if I'm very careful in drilling this, it's, it's not going to, the hole is going to be in the same place. It's just going to be bigger, if you know what I'm saying. Um, and I don't want to glue these pins in. I just want them to help align everything so, so that uh, in the event that for some reason when it comes to installing the deck, this this thing has to be let's put it together here a little bit here I don't know why I'm so clumsy lately I'd like to blame this thing and say it's not made right but it, it's actually made quite well uh, okay so what I'm thinking is that when I put the deck in if I find that it has to be spread a little bit to get the deck to fit in uh, th then, it, then it will co go apart. But if the pins are glued together, it won't. Now, on the other hand, it could be that that everything's going to be just fine. We are going to be doing a... Once I get this in place here, we are going to be doing sort of a dry run with the deck just to make sure... The, now, when I say glued in place, I mean these two pieces glued together, not this piece glued in there. Um, 
Okay, I'm starting to ramble here. All right, let's uh, let's cut these down. Obviously, we need a very short one and a very long one, and we got to drill these out to this size. Okay, now I'm hoping I have a proper locking collar that will fit this this drill bit here. And I don't think I do. I, I don't think, uh, yeah, this this one here is the smallest one and I believe it is is probably too big. I just, I could just try it here. It, it might lock down. It'd be nice if it did. No. Okay, so so that means that I have to use this one here. Now this one here is more of a visual uh, stop or whatever you want to call it. And the idea is that if you don't want to go in too deep, which naturally we don't want to do because we're going to come right out the other side. And then I'm going to have a porthole where I don't want it. So so what what will often happen with this one here is when you're drilling down, if if you push push down too hard, it, the the uh, locking collar will work its way back up the bit, and you've lost your setting, and you're going in deeper than you originally had wanted to. So, uh, yeah, it, it's sort of a visual thing. As soon as you see it gets to where it's supposed to be, then then stop. Only makes sense. Anyway, that's too bad. I was hoping that one of these would have worked, but uh, no. Not going to happen. Now, while I'm thinking about it, there there is something that I had thought of earlier that I wanted to mention, and that is this, that so, there are people out there right now that have this exact same kit, and you might be thinking to yourself, well, I want to build it along with Ron on YouTube. Well, I, my advice to you is don't, because uh, I will... I will probably just frustrate you because sometimes I'll go fast, sometimes I will go slow, sometimes I will skip something that's important. Um, this is not a tutorial. This is just a vlog as how my day goes. And uh, Now, speaking of how things are going to go, let's just have a little look here. Okay, I think if I'm careful and stop as soon as this orange part comes down onto this gray part. It should be all right. Now I might have to, I might have to put another battery in this drill because it it uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of torque. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Uh, Gonna have to put another battery in the drill. I want I wanted to use this one because it's it's nice and light, and there's less chance of me getting the uh, the uh, bit in crooked, if you know what I mean. So either that or maybe I should just put it in my other drill, just put it in low gear and just go nice and slow. I, I imagine that the the important thing is that. That, that it doesn't get out of round here at the beginning where the pin is going to come out. If, if, it's, if it gets itself out of round further in, uh, that, that's not, not too important. Um, I know what I'm talking about, but I'm sure I'm not making a whole lot of sense here. Okay. If you remember, I put a dummy battery in here. So that instead of having three volts going through, it just has one and a half volts going through. So let's uh, let's just change it here to to three volts. So why isn't this coming out? It should just come out like a battery. There we go. All right. So what do we got here? That's probably got a little bit more torque. 
Okay, let's keep an eye on this now. I'm just going to double check and make sure it's not going to go too deep. Now this one could go deeper, but I don't think we need to worry about that. We'll just make short pins. All it has to do is align everything. It doesn't have to hold it together. You know what? I think I'm going to leave that other battery in there. This thing works a lot better. And I don't think I needed to have it going as slow as I did. Nope, no extra portals. Now this uh, poor old bolt cutter, I guess at some time I must have tried to cut a piece of hardened bolt or, or something, or rod maybe, and I've got a bit of a divot there in a bad place, so I have to watch. I can either, I have to either have my nail all the way in past the divot or ahead of it, but I, th I think, I think it should work here. I just want to, I just need four pieces. Uh, I'm guessing, uh, half an inch long. Okay, you want me, you want to watch me do this, right? Okay, first let's get rid of that uh, get rid of that point there. Now, I I know this this might look crazy, but I will quite often put my finger on the other side here so that the piece that I nip off doesn't go pinging out. Now, now this is rather awkward here. Okay, I want to make sure I'm not going to break anything. Can I go in just a little bit maybe? Yeah, there we go. Okay, like that. And then I will put my finger over it. I'm not putting my finger in here. Okay, so don't go panicking. Okay. Now we get the head off. Now maybe if I go real slow you can see it happen. Okay. Now if we see if we if I get it in half and then half that again into quarters, that should be just about right. good. Everybody likes to see metal being squashed, right? Oh, that's pretty good. I'm just eyeballing it here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, see, and I still got all my fingers. Okay, we've got uh, eight ends here. I'm just going to do one on camera, and the other end, the other I'm going to do off camera because I don't want to be getting too much iron filings all over my model table here. The idea is just to get the, the rough burrs off of the where it's going to go into the hole so there won't be any jamming going on. Actually, they're not, they're not that bad. I could probably use them right now. Anyway, we'll see them in a minute here. 
Now I can't remember exactly what time it was that I filled up the bird feeder yesterday morning, but I'm thinking it was only about 10 hours and it's gone down to this level, almost out. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm wondering if maybe they like this bir new bird seed uh, too much. <laughs> maybe I should be mixing some of the old bird seed in with it. There's still a little bit left. Slow things up a little bit, although that's not the idea, is it? The idea is we want to help the birds, <laughs> not make things hard for them, not sort of put before them something that they don't like the taste of. And yet, on the other hand, well, it's a good thing that I bought that 40 pound bag of bird seed. Now, I filled it up as much as I could this time, and we'll see what happens. Now, I was thinking uh, it might be interesting to do a time lapse and watching the bird seed go down. It'd be very shaky, but uh, it would at least you, at least we could watch it go down. <laughs> We'd know if somebody came along and stole it. <laughs> okay, enough about the bird feeder. Now, just in case you're wondering, how is it that I got them so concentric? Well, I put them into in my uh, electric drill here. And I turned it as I was grinding. I cheated, in other words. Okay, none of these are exactly the same length. And this one here is the second shortest one. And... Uh, I haven't tried this yet, but it could be that these holes might not be deep enough to uh, allow the parts to go together. I, I think they, I think they will. Oh yeah, that's going to be just fine. Yeah. Okay. So you get the idea. Yeah. I don't know if that's actually going to make any difference, but it was kind of fun, wasn't it? Yeah, I like doing stuff like that. Okay, let's move on. Apparently I haven't had enough coffee yet today. I'm still asleep. Why did I make four? Well... There is not going to be pizza today, uh, for obvious reasons. I got to be out of this house in about two hours, and I got more stuff to do. I just finished editing out the uh, everything you'd seen up until right now, and once again, I was surprised at how much I'd had record pressed. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I'm not promising if there's going to be a sunrise at the end of this, but uh, if there is, it'll be in about 30 seconds from right now. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow.